I'm just gonna try something real quick, real quick. I don't think I'll do this for very long. Water is a little, a little dirty. I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm only gonna do this for like a second. I'm not gonna do it for very long here. This grass right here is uh, elbow grass. If you guys get through here and you guys ever see this kind of stuff and the water is good, you can like burn swim baits or stuff like that. Right now I'm actually burning. What's up? Yeah, I see the bait popping. That's kind of why I stopped. But that's another thing, like I'm taking a bandito bug and I actually have it pegged right now. And I'm just gonna burn it on the top. And a lot of times you can get the fish to come up and just explode on it. Like the only reason why I'm, 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 I probably tell you guys a lot today is like Okeechobee can be a very, uh, it can be a son of a gun for people that come from other states. This lake is nothing more than just a giant bowl. Like it's just, a, imagine a big bowl. That's all this lake is with random patches of grass everywhere. See these lanes right here? These are the ones you guys are really wanting to hit right here. Right down through the lanes, burn it. You know they say like 95% of the fish are in 5% of the lake? I was told that like three years ago. Crazy, huh? You know, 95% of your water doesn't even hold any fish. Think about it. It's crazy to think about it. I don't know. It's just when you think about it, it's kind of crazy. Oh, almost backlash there. I'm gonna hit these uh, last couple little boat lanes with this thing, and then we're gonna go to where we need to. This is just a random stop. But I just spooked something right there. Probably tilapia. I don't know if they're in this spot. I know that they're in this grass. I don't, I feel like they're not in this, this spot though. I'm just gonna move real quick. I am going to try that still. See, I, you see what I noticed here? That last spot, I wasn't like too keen on the, the water clarity. It had a lot of particles in it. You see it now? It's kind of funny. I pick up and come to a different spot. I'm just gonna be burning this just for a little bit this morning, for like 20 minutes through like these kind of things. And then I'm gonna go off to doing what I really wanna do here in Florida. But you can't come to Florida and not burn something through grass. It's not possible. That and flip are two different things you have to do. God, this looks beautiful here. Oh, Lordy Lord, that's a hard bottom. That is a, I think I gotta flip them reeds too. Yeah, with that hard of a bottom. Come back on the inside of these pads, you can tell they get thicker because uh, the, like if you guys are looking here, I know a lot of you guys at home probably know this, but I mean, ripples, there's no pads, okay? If you look out here, it's like slick calm. That's when you know it's like, it's a bit thicker with uh, vegetation. But with that hard bottom, I'm definitely 100% gonna go flip these pads. Or not, excuse me, not pads, but this uh, reed head. contemplating how deep this is. I just don't think it's deep enough. See how much water, I mean the bottom's great. I just don't think it's deep enough right there. You know what I mean? It's like a maybe a foot. I'm not comfortable with it. I want like two and a half foot at least. You know what I mean? Oh, not a bad fish. Good fish. Oh yeah. I'm out to Okeechobee, swimming that bandito bug. Told y'all, got that thing pegged. Just swim in it. But you guys see these little dollar pads all through here on the edge of this grass like I was telling you? There we go, first fish of the day. Think she's four pounds or no? Gosh dang, she's so close we so have to close. wear. We, did, you, did you put any marks for yesterday? Did we forget to put them on the paper? We got two for yesterday. We got two for yesterday? Okay, we had two for four yesterday. I don't know, that one's close. First fish though. Okay, I know you guys probably did not see me catch that fish. This GoPro, the GoPro 7 is probably one of the most unreliable things I've ever seen. Um, I was swimming that bandito bug, like I said at the very beginning. First fish, I was throwing it through these, these, all these dollar pads. And like I said, I'm very sorry, but this thing froze and corrupted the, the footage. But anyway, there you go, there's first fish. I'm gonna check and see if she's four. Yesterday, I think we got two or so, I think. Remember four pounders, we, we're tallying them up for the year, four plus. A little drink for my baby girl. 
4.05. Another four pounder start off the day. There we go, first fish. Four. Fell victim to that uh, pegged bandito bug like I was showing you guys earlier this morning. Okeechobee crawl, I got the blue on the bottom. I don't know if that really matters, but felt good for myself. So. All right, let's see if we can make this thing work. That would be nice. There's one. There's another one. Not nearly as big as that four pounder. Oh, jeez. Good start to the morning. Good start to the morning. I am not throwing this on like I am not actually throwing on a swim bait hook or nothing. I just got it pegged on a four out worm hook. I, 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 say, I think I said this the other day, I think the bandito bug itself, it's thin. So, it, let me, so I'm using, like I said, Okeechobee crawl, but like I, I was, I think I said this two days ago, I don't remember. It's a thin profile bait. Hopefully this helps some of y'all, hopefully you enjoy this. I'm gonna be a little bit more informative in today's video because I feel like it's needed. This lake can be, this lake's a son of a gun. But like, see what I mean? It's like slender in profile like, like this. And with a flipping hook, I just don't feel like it fits as... I mean, it works, but I'll get more fish out of this. Oops, I'm gonna go backwards. I want the blue down. Look at that. Fits perfectly in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Um. There we go. There's one. Come on, be good. Hey, he's not bad. Dude, I literally just went from flipping and pitched out here. I just don't think those reeds are right. <sighs> They're gonna be out in these dollar pads. Fish number tray on that bandito bug. Swim in it. I am gonna go flipping later on. Little dude right there. Little dude. These, these isolated reeds aren't the kind that I'm, I'm really looking for. I've got a patch here down I don't know, a few miles that way that I think might be holding some flipping fish but I'm not gonna leave fish to find fish currently I want to show you guys multiple different kind of sides of Okeechobee but as long as you guys have hard bottom like listen to this I don't know if you can hear that that's hard that's what you're looking for hard bottom there's another one that one might be good Oh, it's stuck behind a bunch of stuff. Damn, he hammered it. That fish absolutely... Oh, it's wrapped in so much stuff. Come on, still be on it. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Bandito bug fish number... Dang. Oh, he spit it. Hey, we hit those poles for me, dude. There we go. I don't think that one's gonna be four pounds. That's probably three and a half. What do you think? Hey, dude, killing it. Steve and I were just having a conversation if I should pick it up, because there's a whole bunch of people right here. Kick the engine on and go back down and drift back through this way. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do, but these dollar pads, as you guys can see right here, pretty sure that's what these things are called. I think they're called dollar pads. I'm sure you guys will correct me if I'm wrong, but right on the edge of this freaking grass. Oh my gosh this tastes so good i almost want to just eat one of these Oh my God, dude, what the heck? Did you just see what just happened there? I've reached my freaking rod tip into the water to check if it was hard or not still. And he just darted out when I stopped it and he just smoked it. I literally was just checking to see if the bottom was hard because I haven't been, I haven't checked this spot. I was just fishing where there's like 40 boats over there, just out of the church. What? the heck just happened there i hope this got it because that was i like stopped and he darted out from underneath those um 
elbow elbow reads elbow grass elbow grass Tony goes give this a shot it doesn't have to be here in Florida just you can do this anywhere when you guys get grass and pads take one of these bandito bugs I'm telling you and just reel it next to it it is it looks I don't know if we can see this in water let's see here Made a quick run now we're going to be doing some flipping i don't know if there's going to be any fish in here i just kind of came to florida to, to punch and flip and we're gonna there's all these isolated reed heads you guys can see out in front of me you guys will see here hopefully there'll be fish inside of them i don't exactly know clearly because us texas boys are well we're new to florida i'm gonna start here all these isolated ones it's gonna take a nice crag and crawl and just give it a full send Ugh. Well, that was almost like a kind of a kind of a bust. I had two bites, and I actually only was able to connect with one of them, and he pretty much went on a ride of his life. I don't know what's going on here. I I really honestly don't have a clue. Um, time check is what is it about a 1 p.m. Maybe it's just midday. Maybe it's just midday slow down grind. I don't know. I really don't know. Shelby, it's been fun. So, it's actually the next day. We are sitting up here, what, what, what's, what, where are we at? We're in, uh, what's this place called? Not Tallahassee, it's uh, Pensacola. We're in Pensacola, so literally we started from, I'm, gonna, I'm drawing it on a map for you guys right here just so you have an idea. This is where we were fishing. That that was a terrible. Let's go ahead and undo that one. That, was a, that yeah, that's where we were fishing. Then we drove. Let's use a different color. Let's use yellow. Then we drove up that way. Oh yeah. Oh, then that's it's pretty much. That's what we did. That was our entire route last night. I don't know why I showed you guys that or thought it was necessary, but now you have an idea. I think we drove for eight and a half hours yesterday, and now we have another nine hours today so we did the we almost made it halfway through S slow clap but i hope you guys did enjoy the florida series it's coming to an end i'll actually be back here in a couple weeks but it might for some different not to be for fishing so, you guys know the deal i've been doing this for so long and i still do this click over there yeah it's that way oh god you gotta look around, make sure there's nobody watching because it's super cringy and there is, there is. Click that video right there in the ceiling. Hey, click the one right below to hear subscribe right down there. Do it too, little piece. I love every single one. Thanks for hanging on.